So it's come to my attention that there are quite a few people that are on the internet and not on the internet that do not really care for the perception that Snow Billy is given of himself and his past acquaintances. And so I've been getting hit up left and right because they're saying, you know, look more, we got to expose this guy. And I've basically been trying to explain, I really don't got time right now. Well, I, I want to inform you of two things. The first thing I want to inform you is, I got time now. The second thing I want to inform you is y'all going to be watching the We Are Culture graphic throughout this video <laughs> because I don't I don't have any graphic right now that I could put up that would be representative of the topic that I'm speaking on that I feel comfortable with displaying. So, yeah, you're going to be you're going to be seeing the We Are a Culture BBN graphic throughout the course of the day, which we actually serve merch for. So, no, shout out to that. Me and the notification gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN. Jack Frost. What's up, party people? Alright, so... Yeah. So, apparently, there has been a lot of lies on the internet. Who would have guessed? Anyway, so, let's get right down to it real quick, and I'm going to tell y'all a couple of things. First of all, there's been quite a few people have been hitting me trying to tell me about this snow billy individual and they've been saying that some there's some things that he's been saying on the internet that is incorrect and not that i didn't think that they were telling the truth i was just busy now i got time so basically what i have been going on is snow billy has been telling people a numer a litany of uh lies so everybody over there that follows him on his channel shout out to y'all i get it y'all there for the comedy the entertainment y'all not there for the actual facts or the truth and there's nothing wrong with that so let me just start off by saying this i'm gonna tell y'all exactly what led up to snow billy getting shot and just so we could clear this up he was not shot in the head he was shot in the neck okay so I can't tell y'all how I know this to be fact. Y'all will be finding out in the future because I have a couple of interviews that are going to be coming up that we are going to be discussing this particular fact. So anyway, Snow Billy was shot in the neck, just so I could be clear with you on this. Um, also, just so we, we could also be clear about something else. Um, Snow Billy was not shot because he was trying to protect 6ix9ine. This is all fallacies. These are made up stories. He was not trying to protect 6ix9ine. Actually, he had taken money from 6ix9ine before. So, before we even get into that, I want to explain to you the whole situation revolving around Snow Billy getting shot and how he snitched on the individual that shot him and also attended to snitch on people who did not even have anything to do with the shooting so basically what happened was snow billy had been talking to his actual cousin who is not bat everybody thinks that aaron young is snow billy's cousin aaron young bat the individual who pled guilty to shooting snow billy is not snow billy's blood cousin just so we could be correct about that and just so i could inform you on that so snow billy himself has been going around saying that bat is his cousin that is a lie that is an absolute lie okay so just so we could be clear on another thing bat did not shoot snow billy having anything at all to do with takashi 69 what actually happened was snow billy was talking to someone who was actually his cousin a person who was really his cousin and in that conversation snow billy was trying to line up cia or as some know him ceo chris but we call him cia chris over here so snow billy was trying to line up cia chris to rob him 
but the problem was he had male murder male matrix and he had bat aaron young standing in his way because they would not let anything happen to cia chris and you know snow billy can't can't he he can't do anything to those guys he's gonna he's gonna lose that fight all day a day anyway so what happened was when snow billy was speaking with his cousin snow billy basically said yeah I'm, i want to kill aaron bat i, I want to kill bat and he said that he wants to kill Mel matrix male murder and in that case the cousin taped him now the cousin then brings the tape and that's what ceo chris heard cia chris and that's what aaron bat young heard aaron bat young was not the individual that taped them although it was his cousin that taped them it was not aaron bat young it was another individual so now upon hearing that tape is when you know everything happened i mean if, if you out here in the streets your street dude you you know it get messy you get messy with it and you hear about a guy that's talking about how he's trying to plan to set you up to kill you you're probably going to strike first so uh also just so i can get to how he actually snitched and if you remember when we did the interview with him the interview is still up go listen to the interview the interview is still up the first interview that snow billy did on his channel what snow billy actually said was is that he didn't know who shot him until the fbi told him that is lies what happened is he told the fbi that the person who shot him was with him all night then he also told the fbi that he was shot somewhere where he wasn't shot then he told the fbi what club he was in before he got shot he did all of this because what that does is that allows for the fbi to go look and see who he was with in order to narrow down who shot him he snitched on the individual that shot him now as far as i know about street politics if you are a street dude and involved in the street life one of the things that you're not supposed to do is snitch you're supposed to go, you know, get your get back, I guess. I don't know. I'm not a street guy. I'm a regular dude out here. You know, shout out to, you know, regular guys. So anyway, um, that's another thing that 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 uh Snow Billy lied about. The FBI did not tell him who shot him. He told the FBI who shot him and also, I believe, was trying to in hopes to get other people like put into the mess. That might not even had anything to do with it. For everybody that don't know, they was at a club before the shooting actually happened. Um, from what I was told, the reason why they left was Snow Billy was promised a couple of dollars. So he was literally just walked out of the club. That's a whole nother story, though. I'm not going to go all the way into that. I'm not trying to say that that's as accurate as what that's basically what I was informed of. OK, so. Another thing we want to get to real quick, because the uh, Snow Billy guy, he's always talking about how much, how, uh, you know, much money he has and how he's always had money and whatever the case might be. But uh, from what I hear, he was sleeping on people's couches. From what I hear, one of the main reasons and problems that actually surfaced was is that he had no money of his own. Now, this is what I'm telling you. I don't know how 100 but this is pretty accurate i've heard this from numerous sources and just could we just stop for a minute because there's people out there trying to narrow down i, I talk to a lot of people so i've heard this from numerous sources so i'm not just telling you something that i just heard from one person i'm like oh, that gotta be the truth no i've heard this from numerous sources now so with that all of that being said um, um, from what I hear, Snow Billy has been lying about uh, quite a few things. I have a couple of people from Treyway that will be uh, coming onto this platform and speaking about this particular topic because, for the most part, some of them are just you no know, tired of him talking crazy. And be perfectly honest with you, you know, if he's gonna you know talk about me, then obviously I'm gonna put out some truth about him. You know, people that actually know him um also allegedly he can't fight so i don't know do we give a shout out to that do we give a shout out to a dude that can't fight but running around no oh one more thing one more thing before we go all the way out um he has not been getting locked up because of anything that has to deal with this trayway matter 
he's he he hasn't even actually been getting put in jail he's been faking going to jail apparently from what i'm hearing but even more importantly or you know i guess as importantly what has been going on is he has been um getting probation violations or parole or whatever he's been getting violated he hasn't been committing new crimes <laughs> Because he keeps going on about how he's like committing new crimes or these things. No, he's not. He's not. He's not committing new crimes. He's just he's just getting violated because he's doing foolishness. And also on the night that he was shot, the reason why he was arrested was is because that was actually a violation because he stayed out past curfew. So, yeah. And um, interestingly enough, and I don't know how accurate or true this is, but interestingly enough, I remember he was trying to tell us that he dropped off his uh was trying to drop somebody off at the um what do you call that the um the homeless shelter. I'm gonna ask a few questions because right now as I'm making this video, I'm thinking was 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 was, was he living in the homeless shelter? Could that have been what was going on? <laughs> Because at this point, I'm going to tell you, man, if you believe in anything that this guy is saying, and, and and I'm not trying to say everything that he says is a lie. I mean, he lies about maybe, you know, almost everything. But the point is, is that from what I've been hearing and from the information that I actually have regarding this particular uh, organization, this guy, Snow Billy, he has not been around 6 9 Don't let him fool you. He didn't have a plan for 6 9s career. Don't let him fool you. Um, he was definitely not, you know, on the higher end of things. Don't let him fool you. These, a lot of people considered him to be a clown for a long time. I'm not calling him a clown. I'm just telling you what I've heard. A lot of people have considered, am I calling him? Anyway, so a lot of people have considered him to be a clown for a really, really long time. And to be perfectly honest with you, look what he's doing on the internet now. I mean, is he even carrying himself like somebody that should be taken seriously? I mean, that's all up to you, though. You know, be, people watch whatever they're going to watch for entertainment. A lot of people watch a lot of things for whatever the reasons is. But I just want to be 100% clear on a couple of things, and then I'm going to let y'all go. And the number one thing is Aaron Bat Young is not his cousin. So Snow Billy did not get shot by his cousin. That means that he was actively lying to everybody, saying that his cousin shot him. Two, Snow Billy was trying to, or he was, he wanted to get, uh, Mel Murder and Mel, uh, Mel Murder and uh, Aaron Bat Young killed, so he could then rob CIA Chris. So that's an actual thing. I've heard this from numerous sources. And in addition to that, it was said in open court. So this is an actual thing. This is not lies. Um, also, if uh, Snow Billy was who he, he's been trying to tell us he was, there's a good chance that he would have been called to testify in court. Why was he not called to testify in court? That's two. Also, also, if he was the person that he's been trying to say that he is, then why isn't he at least in the indictment at all and then dropped from the indictment or something? He's not in the indictment at all. Zero in the indictment. The federal government does not work like that. If you are an individual that has been committing crimes, you have to then go fess up to your crimes and then, you know, then get the slap on the hand. You can't, they're not going to just... It don't work like that as far as I know. Maybe I don't know. Leave it down in the comment section. Anybody can fill me in on that. How about that? I'm not out here committing RICO charges. So I I'm honestly could be misled about this. I honestly could be wrong about this. But he's not on any of these charges as anything more than guy that got shot. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much. And enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.